to everyone who clicked on this video. My name is Taylor Regine. If you are new, as if you are not, welcome back, of course. I know I have not posted a video in like two weeks, I think it is. And I'm so sorry for that. Y'all know I got like real commitment issues with YouTube apparently, but it's okay because I am posting a video for you guys now. I was guided, so I am sitting down um, and recording this video for you guys. So in this pick a car, we are going to be taking a look at who or what is coming your way. Um, I wanted to do something a little bit different today. So we have some chips here. I'm going to be reading some chips for you guys today. And then we'll do a little bit of a pick a card. Um, and so with these types of readings, different messages tend to come through. So you can expect some other messages to come through as well for you. So let's go ahead and hop to it. I have some cool ranch for pile number one, some sweet chili for pile number two, and some flaming hot nacho for pile number three. I really wanted to do the flaming hot cool ranch because if you have not had those, girl, guy, whoever, go get you some, okay? Because they are busting, all right? That's just my opinion, but um, I couldn't find them in a smaller bag. They only come in the larger bags, but if you have not tried them, go ahead and grab those because they are good but anyway we're gonna go ahead and get started uh pile number one of course is to your left pile number three is to your right and i'm gonna go ahead i'll have all the timestamps linked for you in the description box down below and i will see you at your pile hello to everyone who chose pile number one this is going to be your reading today on who or what is coming your way we're probably going to get some other messages too so let's go ahead and get started um i got a plate here so i don't get like chip crumbs everywhere of course we are going to put your intuitive card over here until we get to it so let's go ahead and get some chips that should be enough and we're gonna go ahead and we'll take a look at what's going on with my pile number one let's start with this one let's see i'm gonna try to get as close as possible to this and still try to like get it in the camera <laughs> Okay, so pile number one, it seems like you may be feeling a bit overwhelmed here. I see a person who is being pulled in multiple different directions, like their limbs are literally being pulled in the opposite way. So you may be very, very busy, have a very, very heavy load in whatever you're doing in life, like work at, or school, maybe your home life. Um, and it seems like you could feel like you're being stretched pretty thin. A message that's coming through here from my pal number one is get comfortable with saying no, all right? Although you think that you are Wonder Woman or Superman, and you very well could be, even those types of individuals need a break here. So make sure you are comfortable with saying no to maybe like going out or no to taking on like extra work. Um, and make sure you're giving yourself a break because what you want to do is create a life where you don't need to run from. Um, I feel like a lot of us can be used to putting too much on our plate because that is the reality that society creates for us. And overworking yourself seems to be the new norm, but know that it is okay to take breaks and it's okay to create a realistic expectation for yourself. And so while you think you have a lot of things on your plate um, or just too many things to do and not enough hours to do, to do them, go ahead and cut that workload in half by saying no to things that you really don't want to do or things that you know will be too much for you. So because what I'm saying here is really somebody who just has like a lot on their plate. Um, it kind of gives me like the 10 of wands vibes um, to where it's kind of like you want to run away or you want to escape. But the goal or the assignment really is to create a life that you don't want to escape from. So if you are, you know, having too much on your plate, like 
remember to take breaks here, pile number one. Mm, I'm also seeing that what is coming your way is you finally healing and letting go of something because I see someone who was trying to walk forward, but it's almost like they have like a chain with one of those balls on them, uh, one of those boulders. And so it looks like you could be carrying some baggage. This could be physically, um, or this could be also emotionally that it seems like you're going to be letting go of here. I'm also being shown a butterfly. And so that reminds me of the death card, which is major transformation that is heading the heading your way pile number one. So you could be leaving a job, a relationship, or just making peace with something that happened to you in your past that has literally been holding you back because it really is not yours to carry here, pile number one. I see that you are trying to walk forward and you are trying to move forward, but you're not going at a pace that you want to. And it's because it's like, it's something like dragging behind you here. And so the message is that you are going to be cutting that cord or releasing yourself from this, this chain or whoever or whatever is trying to hold on to you in order for you to move forward. And now I am seeing some sort of gift come in as soon as you decide to release that. Ooh, um, it could be another person for some of you because I'm seeing like, what is that kind of like conjoined twins? here like people who are like connected at the hip and it seems like you are running away like you're trying to get away from something or somebody and it's like a surgery needs to be done like something needs to be cut but because they are giving me a reference of surgery here that is also letting me know that it's going to be a healing period like i said before just because when you go into the hospital and when you have surgery you have a recovery time as well so cut yourself some slack pile number one when you are leaving this behind when you are cutting this cord when you are doing this surgery don't forget to lay down and let that wound heal okay girl or guy excuse me i don't know who's watching this um so hold space for yourself and be gentle with yourself. Cry if you need to, like be a baby if you need to. Whatever you need to do, go ahead and make sure that you are really nurturing that inner child and giving yourself the same grace that you give other people, pile number one. Mm, we have some sort of gift that is coming in, some sort of gift that is coming through. You could have literal gifts if you chose this pile. Um, if not, you could be being gifted something by the divine or somebody could be getting, giving you a literal gift. Your birthday could be coming up or you could be celebrating something soon because I am seeing the it looks like three people kind of partying so it reminds me of the three of cups so you could have a celebration or something that is coming up um i'm hearing that some of you are on the fence of whether you should go out or not um you don't know if you'll have fun maybe there are some people there who are questionable um this is saying go out enjoy yourself have fun i see you having a really good time or whatever whatever event this is that you are on the fence about or you are worried about so go out, have fun, have a good time, and know that you are the main character, okay? You are player number one, and everybody else is pretty much an NPC until you decide that they are not, okay? For my gamers who are there, um, or out there, because <laughs> I know a lot of us have, like, social anxiety and stuff like that. Like, don't even worry about it. You're the main character of your life and nobody else is relevant until you decide that they are, period. All right, let's go ahead. We're gonna grab another chip to see what's going on. Which side am I looking at? All right, let's see what is headed towards my pile number one. Mm, I'm seeing a pyramid or a triangle for this pile. I don't know exactly what it means, but maybe it means something to you. There's some sort of portal that's opening for you, some sort of door that's opening for you. Some of y'all could be traveling somewhere 
or being urged to travel somewhere, take a vacation. Ooh, I just heard, let's get specific. All right. Um, there is a person that is coming in for some of you guys. Uh, this person lives very far away from you, or maybe they're traveling to you. Could be a friend or a family member. Um, this person has very big, beautiful eyes, kind of like, I'm seeing like huge eyes, kind of like a Bratz doll, maybe if they are a woman or just bigger eyes if they are male. They look really satisfied and really happy to be seeing you. Maybe you're in a long distance relationship or taking a trip to see somebody who you haven't seen in a really long time or vice versa. Um, because I'm seeing two things or two people come together. I'm seeing like over dinner or over coffee. So expect like a date or like an invitation or just like a surprise from somebody who you haven't seen or maybe like you moved to a different state or a different country and somebody's traveling there and they want to surprise you oh man if it's a surprise i just i just fucked it up but um so we'll expect that expect a message from or a visit from somebody who you haven't seen in a while all right, let's go ahead and get another chip. I'm at about 11 minutes right now. I don't want this reading to get too, too long. So let's see what else for my pile number one, who or what is coming their way. All right, I'm being told to flip the chip over to the other side, so let's do that. Something about destiny is being highlighted here. Something about your path is being highlighted here. Um, I'm seeing some of you are feeling stuck in one place. It's like you're getting the guidance that you need to move forward, but you could be scared to step out of your comfort zone or just comfortable with what you are doing. And so you are really entering a period of uh, time where you are shedding that and letting things go. And I must say that for some of you, it is going to be very uncomfortable, but that's okay. Go ahead and embrace that and don't fight it because these things are going to fall away regardless in order for you to move forward, in order for you to be successful. I'm being shown a baby who is just now starting to walk and they're kind of holding on to the wall and even though they are scared to take their first steps they go ahead and they let go of that wall and they run into their mother's arms or their father's arms um, until they can support themselves so i am really being uh shown that your ancestors your angels your spirit guys your spiritual team is there for you pile number one where you while you are learning how to take your first steps into this new life into this new way of being when you let go of that wall and know that you don't need that support anymore even if you stumble even if you fall you have a team of spirits and a team of people who are there waiting to catch you so go ahead and take that leap um because it looks like you could be living kind of like in the mundane maybe you don't like your job maybe you don't like your everyday life but the new life that you want is going to come with some changes it's going to come with you leaving the person that you used to be behind 100 and really transforming into the person who you have always meant to be um so that could be very very scary and so I'm being told that uh, they're waiting on you, you know, they're ready whenever you are. So as soon as you want to take that step and take that leap, whatever that is for you, pal, number one, um, the divine, the universe is waiting on you. All right, so I'm at about 15 minutes. Let's go ahead. Let's get a couple of cards here to end your reading, pal, number one. Ooh, there is a meeting that is happening like I was seeing before in those chips. So for some of you, this is like romantic. Um, and for others of you, like I said, you want to like a party or something that you're going to have a lot of fun at. 
ooh, or maybe you're going to a party that you think that you're not gonna have fun at, but you end up going and somebody significant is there. There's a hater there though too. Um, there's a reason that you don't wanna go to this event. It just seems like somebody um, that you might not like or doesn't like you is gonna be there. So you're just like, uh, do I really wanna go? Go ahead and go girl. Because there's somebody else there that is gonna be very, very significant in your life. All right, I'm gonna grab an Oracle card. I'm gonna grab a few tarot cards and then we're gonna wrap it up. All right, what's going on with my pile number one? Who or what is coming their way? We got hostilities and then we got bl blossom in abundance. You see that hater? You see that hater who is coming in? All right, but then you have blossoming abundance too. So it's like, don't let other people stop your flow right stop your abundance it's easy to be held down by the shackles of the opinions of other people but go ahead and do you anyway all right don't let that stop you and at the bottom of the deck we have rest and, re and rejuvenation which is what i was talking about earlier don't take on many uh too many tasks excuse me at once know that you are deserving of rest and know that you absolutely deserve to be abundant without having to overexert yourself pile number one okay all right let's grab a few tarot cards before we end it final messages for my pile number one all right we have the emperor in reverse we have the ten of cups and then we have the two of torches it is in reverse we have the three of swords in reverse so you are finally pulling these swords out pile number one whatever that boulder or that burden is that you were carrying it's it's done it's about to be over now and it's about to be over it faster than you thought it would be here with the eight of torches we have the hangman in reverse as well. So that is also telling me that there is some movement here. If you look at this hangman card, this person is just used to being where they are. It's like he is growing into the trees. But because this is reverse, this is letting me know that you are finally getting up and you are changing your surroundings and you're finally making some movement because you're not okay with just keeping yourself in such a vulnerable situation, a vulnerable place, especially with this Emperor card in reverse. You are stepping up, you are claiming your power, and you are being protected as you are doing so. You are this little lamb here who is being shielded from anything and anyone that is trying to hurt you. So know that you have divine protection here, pal number one, period. You ain't even got to worry about it. All right. And then we have this 10 of cups, which is your happily ever after. It's whatever you want in this world. All you have to do is make a decision with this two of torches here. All right. So we have this person who is standing in front of these two doors. It's time to decide, pal number one, of what your path is, what you want to do, and what person you want to be in this life. So as soon as you are ready to make the choice, it seems like your 10 of cups, your happily ever after is waiting for you. And that is what is headed your way, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and end your reading here, pile number one. Thank you so much for letting me read for you today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Hello to everyone who chose pile number two. This is going to be your reading on who or what is coming your way. Um, of course, we are going to save this intuitive card for the end. All right, I got a plate here so I don't get no crumbs everywhere. You guys chose the uh, spicy sweet chili. Let's go ahead and grab some for you. right that should be enough and we're gonna go ahead and get let's excuse me we're gonna go ahead and get started and look at me i wasted some anyway got the plate still wasted them of course <laughs> all right so let's go ahead and get started yo these chips smell so good i don't typically 
get these or eat these but i might all right, so let's go ahead and get started with this one. Who or what is coming towards my pile number two? Ooh, pile number two, you could be in school, you could be studying something. I'm being shown some sort of equation or some sort of math problem, um, or you could be trying to figure something out. They're showing me like a greater than sign. And so you could be weighing out two options for yourself and one of them is going to be the better option so because they're showing me a math equation i am under the impression that this is whatever a decision this is is going to need you to sit down write it down and spend some time on it and maybe even double check your work here so whatever decision this is, whatever contract this is, make sure you're reading it. Make sure um, that this is like the right decision for you. Mm, I'm seeing you meeting somebody or conversing with somebody who has like a beauty mark or maybe like some very thick eyebrows. You could have very thick eyebrows yourself. Um, this person has like a beauty mark on their face. Um, or there's something going on with their hair. I'm seeing like the people who have like gel in their hair and they make their hair like stick up in a certain way, could have like spikes, or maybe your hair naturally grows up towards the sun. But whoever this is, they're very, very handsome. This seems like a masculine sort of energy that's coming in or entering. Um, they could be a helpful person, or this could even be the person that you're negotiating with. Very chiseled features, very nice features. Um, so keep a lookout for this person, because this could be somebody who could be trying to help you or somebody who you are making a deal with. This person could have freckles as well, because I'm seeing like a lot of markings on their face. So it definitely seems like they got something going on. Uh, number seven is coming through. So definitely assess, assess, assess. You could have a lot of options. Mm, somebody could be wanting to lose weight here. I am hearing, uh, make sure you are choosing healthy ways to lose weight. Um, I do see what's coming towards you is an opportunity to get the body that you want some of you could even be looking into some sort of like cosmetic surgery which you know go for it if that's what you want to do girl um but just make sure that you are choosing like healthy options when it comes to getting rid of the weight that you want to get rid of <laughs> something about a belly button is coming through i don't know that's weird uh, maybe that means something to you guys Somebody very beautiful is headed your way, pal number two. You can be very beautiful or somebody who is very, very beautiful is coming in. It's just what I keep seeing in this chip. I'm going to pick up another one. I see that pile number two may not be looking for a relationship. Uh, you could be single if you chose this pile and very, very focused on your career. A lot of you in this pile could even not believe in relationships or really don't want marriage uh, i see you facing one way and somebody coming up to you from behind and i feel like this person is very very significant let's see what else mm, i'm being shown a wedge so i feel like somebody wants to approach you but there's somebody else that is trying to hold this person back or stop them from approaching you or trying to even get in between like the middle of you two or something that you have going on. Um, but it seems like whoever this person is, is going to be coming in no matter what. Uh, this person is significant in your life. I'm seeing sparks. I'm seeing fireworks. Mm, I'm seeing a tent as well. Some of you could be going camping soon. Um, I'm seeing a crown. It seems like pound number two, you could have been, or you could be destined to do something. And it seems like something was, like you were crowned before you were born or something like that. I don't know, the message is coming through really weird. Or maybe you're gonna get crowned. 
there's some sort of status, some sort of title that I feel like is coming in for pile number two, or maybe you're meeting somebody with status or a title. And it could be that people around you have tried to stop this. Maybe even people that you don't know. I do see a little bit of mag magic here, um, not to alarm anybody, but it seems like it doesn't really have an effect, but um, it seems like you have been climbing some sort of mountain here, pile number two, is that I'm being shown. And like even this chip to me, it kind of looks obviously like a pyramid or a mountain, but the top is cut off. And so it's like, you have a little bit of uncertainty. Um, but it seems like as you get closer to the top, it seems like a lot of forces or maybe self-doubt is coming in because you don't know what's next. I'm being told to tell you to keep going, right? Because there's a mountain and it's clouds at the tops, but as you keep climbing and as you burst through that fog or those clouds, um, I'm thinking that you're going to get exactly what you are looking for. <sighs> mm, there could be some distractions going on in your life, pal number two. If you recently like met somebody new or people have started like inviting you out or you've been going out a lot and getting distracted... I feel like you really need to buckle down and focus because these distractions are being sent to throw you off of your path, off of like your destiny and things like that. Um, make sure that you are staying focused and really putting your priorities first or figuring out what your priorities are. So I see you getting very, very organized is really what is coming towards you. You could have a very, very significant dream. Your dreams could be really, really crazy right now as well. Some of you are having nightmares and that is okay. Go ahead and flip that pillow over to the good dream side um, and know that you are protected. Go ahead and get a dream journal, write it down um, because it looks like something is trying to get in to communication with you pile number two um you have a guide here who does not communicate with you in words so if you're a clear audience this is not a guide that is going to speak to you in complete sentences uh, i'm seeing more riddles or puzzles and things like that uh, so definitely pay attention to animals and insects that you see in the next week or so or dreams that you have. Um, some of you like to scroll on social media. And so look for different things on your social media as you are scrolling through Facebook, through TikTok, through Insta Instagram, whatever that is for you um, to get some messages through there as well. So I see some sort of idea, some sort of spark, some sort of message coming in from a guide uh, from my pal number two. You could even be getting information about this person that is going to come in. What is that? I feel like I'm taking like a peek into pile number two's mind. I'm being showed that one movie, like A Wrinkle in Time. Um... It feels very like fantasy like and you could lucid dream you could even be able to control your dreams if you chose this pile um, but you seem to have a lot of brilliant ideas pile number two and so I think that you're gonna really come up with something very significant that's gonna be able to change your life really is what I'm being told and I don't know if y'all just heard that I just got a, a text message, but I feel like that's confirmation. So definitely be open to receiving those messages or even expect like a message. I feel like some somebody significant is about to come into power number two's life. It's giving me a very like fantasy like like 
Disney movie, y'all could really write a movie script and like a book or something with the way that you think pile number two. All right, what am I at right now? Let me see. I'm at about 14 minutes, so let's go ahead. We'll get some cards because I don't want your reason to be too long. Let's flip this over. Ooh, we got a guardian angel coming through and they got something to say to my pal number two, okay? Um, so for real, for real, make sure you are writing down your dreams, meditating, being open to messages um, because it just seems like something here has got your back, pal number two. All right, let's get some Oracle cards. If y'all hear anything in the background, that's my roommate. She totally be living here and stuff. So. <laughs> Who or what is coming towards my pile number two? Right, dang. All right, we have door to value. We have yin and yang, and then we have fifth chakra arch archangel Gabriel. Bottom of the deck, we have adjacent possibilities. All right, so with yin and yang, it really gives me the sense of balance, or it really gives me the sense of two things coming together to make something that is whole, that is balanced. Um, so expect to find balance within yourself or expect to meet your other half, right? Could be a twin flame for some of you guys, if you resonate with that, or just like a soulmate, um, expect an idea or something to come in, especially with this fifth chakra. You could be a public speaker, speaker, excuse me, or you could deliver a message to people, but expect to be using your voice in something that is gonna be very, very significant to you, pile number three, or expect a visit from an angel. I was just talking about your guardian angel, so expect to receive a message or be talked to by a spirit. Um, I'm being told that some of you could have a mediumship ability that is coming in or is being awakened, uh, some new gifts that are coming in, so definitely don't be afraid of them. Go ahead and embrace them. Um, and so whenever this spirit approaches you, try not to freak out, <laughs> which I know is easier said than done for those who are not used to it. But this is this idea right here, this door to value, some sort of spark that is going to be leading you to a lot of abundance, really what is coming towards you, pile number two. We have adjacent possibilities here. Mm, and we got victory right under that. Oh, we have contract two. Look, what are y'all doing? All right, I won't end on it. Power number two is cooking up something and they are about to take it off the stove and everybody around them is going to eat, okay? So whatever possibility that is coming in, make sure you're weighing out your options um, and seeing what is like working best for you, power number two. But look, y'all about to get some sort of idea, some sort of spark. Um, and it's going to be leading you to a lot of abundance, a lot of happiness. Like I was saying before, y'all could really write a book, direct a movie, write a script. Like that's just the type of vibe I'm getting. Like your mind, your imagination is just, it's incredible. And it's very cool to be able to tap into it. All right. So we have the nine of torches. It is in reverse. We have the nine of swords, and then we have the five of swords. We have the queen of torches at the bottom of the deck. Don't get down on yourself, pile number two, because that's really what I feel like is happening. You could have an idea, you could have a business, you could have something that you wanna go for, but you get in your head here right with the competition or people who hating on you um or just like self-limiting beliefs here because with this nine of swords like you could see this person is like crying and they are like trapped by these swords and by these racing thoughts um and it makes them feel like they don't want to go for it anymore right with this nine of torches it makes them feel like whatever their idea is is too crazy right or it's never gonna work out and this is saying to really know your power here with the queen of torches this is a confident creative mind a business owner she is 
a very, very beautiful person too. So it is really telling you to step into your power and embrace it because you are this queen of wands, power number two. And as soon as you start believing that and believing in yourself, that is when everything else is going to fall into place. And I know that it's easier said than done, especially being in a society that teaches us to not believe in ourselves. But I'm here to tell you that you got what it takes and know that you have very, very good things headed your way, right? This is your destiny, right? So make sure you are not getting distracted. Make sure you are getting organized, planning things out, and you are sure to win pile number two, okay? So I'm going to go ahead. We're going to end your reading there. Thank you so much for letting me read for you today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Hello to everyone who chose pile number three. This is going to be your reading on who or what is coming your way. You guys chose the flaming Hot Nacho flavor. Um, so I got a plate here so we don't make a mess. We're going to put that card over there till later. And let's go ahead and get you some chips. So let's go ahead and get started for my pile number three. Let's see what is going on. All right, I'm gonna try to hold this closer to myself so I can see, but still like get the chip in the frame. <laughs> Mm, pile number three is very intuitive okay you could really be trusting what you see more than your intuition because i'm seeing like somebody with a third eye but i'm also seeing like the two of swords but the two of swords is over that third eye so it seems like whatever is going on in your surroundings pile number three is having you doubt your own intuition this could be a situation where you are being gaslighted or manipulated or maybe you just don't believe in yourself um because I'm seeing like the third eye being covered. It's like you have the answers, but you doubt that you have the answers. Or maybe you're doing something and you doubt that you are good at it and you're actually like really, really amazing at it. And so what I see is coming towards you is just you trusting yourself a lot more and trusting that you are capable of making the decisions to move your life forward. Pile number three could really have come from a childhood or background where you may have had overprotective parents or maybe even like an overprotective partner in a relationship. Um, and so you're used to other people making the decisions for you. But now you're at a point in your life or will be coming into a season where you are going to have to trust yourself, pile number three, and know that you are capable of making your own decisions and doing what is best for you. I see a lot of anxiety in this pile. And so you could have a very low window of tolerance. I see some of you guys are in therapy or trying to take care of your mental health. Um, but you could have a lot of overwhelming thoughts that makes it very, very difficult. And I see you really overcoming that very, very soon, pile number three. Um, if you're having racing thoughts, if you're struggling with mental health, if you just feel like making everyday decisions is putting a lot of pressure onto you to where you can't function. And that's only for some of you. Okay, so I see that you feel like something is missing, pile number three. It seems like you are longing for a place or a home or a person or a tribe that you don't even know exists or you're not even sure exists. You could feel like an alien, an outsider on this planet or just in your everyday life. Um, and so because you feel like you are lacking that wholeness or that oneness you could be 
trying to fill that hole with things that are not conducive to your growth. So it could be talking to people who we usually wouldn't talk to because we're lonely or we feel like, you know, we're codependent or doing things that we wouldn't normally do because we could be trying to feel better. And so I feel like what is coming towards you is, is you're going to be coming out of that. Like you're going to be coming into a stage of your life where you're going to be letting all of that fall away and making better decisions. Or you could be in that now, right? I could be even referring to a past part of pile number three. Social media is being highlighted here. So definitely uh, be careful of what you are absorbing on social media. You could even have a social media here or be a creator of some sort. But this is really highlighting of being careful of what you are absorbing, like the food you are eating, who you are surrounding yourself with, what you are putting into your body sort of thing. There are some things from the childhood that is going to be coming up for pile number three that is going to be healed because I do see two children playing hand games or just a child playing in general. And so if you have any childhood wounds, any ancestral trauma, expect that to be coming up in order to be healed for you, pile number three. All right, let's go ahead and see what else is headed towards my pal three. Pal number three, you feel like you're running out of time. You're not. I'm being shown an hourglass. You don't have to feel like you're running out of time. There's no reason to rush through your life. Definitely ask yourself that question if you feel like that applies to you. Why are you trying to rush through your life? There is no timeline to when you have to get things done when you have to get married if you even want to get married like there's no right or wrong way to do things so definitely keep that in mind mm, i'm seeing you finding healthy coping mechanisms pile number three i really do feel like yoga would help you um i'm seeing like a volcano explode so you could be feeling overwhelmed with a bunch of emotions that um, maybe trying to kind of be kept down but come out in different ways so I see you finding new ways to release those emotions I feel like a lot of you are doing yoga um, or maybe like some Reiki or something um, but I feel like yoga is being highlighted as far as being a positive outlet for the energy that you need to get out and this is just for some, definitely take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Some of you had just have just had a baby. Um, so being a new mother is stressing you out. And I see somebody feeling bad that they feel bad for being a new mother. And it's saying that it's all part of the process and to not feel bad about the way that you feel right don't feel bad about your emotions so if you have a new baby or if you're trying something new um, and you feel bad about it like it's okay your emotions are valid let's go ahead and take a look it's okay to start searching for a new job pile number three um i see some of you are being like micromanaged at work so if you are searching for a new job or you feel like your job is not paying you enough to be there uh don't feel bad about searching for a new job and really realizing your worth or wanting more um, you could feel like you have a limited amount of options. And so I see what's coming to you soon. It's just a shift in perspective for you, pal number three. And as soon as you shift your perspective, I feel like there's going to be a lot of options available for you. For example, it's like doing job applications and looking at the qualifications and seeing that it requires a bachelor's degree or a certain number of years of experience. 
and you seeing that and you not applying because you're just like, oh, wow, I have none of those. And so you don't even apply and you sell yourself short versus just applying for the hell of it and believing in yourself and shifting your perspective and boom, you get the job anyway. So it's really screaming uh, that sort of thing for pile number three of you just shifting your perspective and then opportunities coming in. So don't put a ceiling on yourself, pile number three. Know that you are capable and worthy of, you know, being financially free, being abundant, being blessed, having hope, healing, having love, and believing in yourself. And know that you are worthy of all of those things because the vibes that you are putting out into the world are the vibes that you are going to be getting back. Pound number three, you could also be going through like a separation or something with somebody or something. And it could be very, very hard for you here because I'm seeing two different people or two different things separating from each other. And you feeling really, really bad about it. Know that this is guided and it won't be this way forever. So if you are in this pile and you are feeling down, um, that's just because that's just the vibe I'm getting. If you are have been feeling very, very heavy lately, know that this is not for nothing, right? Everything has a purpose. Because I'm hearing somebody say like, they're not the same person that I knew. I can't trust them anymore. I can't believe they gave up. I can't believe I'm giving up. Like, don't shit on yourself, okay? Know that even though it hurts right now, if it's hurting right now, whatever it is, because it's going to be different for all of you, have hope that there is light at the end of the tunnel and that there are better days to come because that is exactly what I am seeing. Power number three is going to come out of a long stretch of not feeling good and I see you starting to feel better. All right, this is saying don't let your thoughts get carried away. Go ahead and be present whenever you feel like you are having racing thoughts or you feel very overwhelmed. Learn how to respond and not react. And I feel like that's exactly what you're learning to do, pile number three. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to get you some cards. Um... All right, so we got your intuitive card here. Um, pile number three, you could tend to maybe replay things in your head, things that you feel like you could have said differently or did differently. Don't beat yourself up. It's all a learning process and everything that you are doing is 100% okay. As long as you learn something from each situation, then you are healing and you are moving forward. You could be feeling really alone and unprotected right now, pal number three. And just know that you have a team of spirits that are around you, even if it doesn't feel like it. I really see what's coming in for pal number three is really learning how to control your emotions and breaking free from things or habits that are holding you back. Let's go ahead. We're going to get some Oracle cards Let's with the deck. We have anxiety and happy family here. Some of you could be uh, going through a separation and it's giving you a lot of anxiety. I'm seeing a lot of you who are praying. Who or what is coming towards my pile number three? If you are in court, if you're going in, um, if you are having any legal battles, expect that to work out in your favor. All right, we have caring connections. Ooh. We have First Chakra Archangel Michael. And then we have Second Chakra Archangel Ariel. All right, and then we have Patience. 
at the bottom of the deck. So it seems like pile number three has been going through something. It's been taking a long time and you are urged to have patience and know that everything is working out. Remember to ground yourself with this first chakra here. This is the root chakra. And so this is you really learning how to respond and not react. All right, we have caring connections here. So you could be having a tough time or going through something with somebody who you once really cared about. And it could be very, very hard for you, whether you are on the end of feeling differently about this person or on the end of this person feeling differently about you. You are really learning how to cope with that in help, healthy ways and know that even though these things are happening to you, it's really all happening for you and you are deserving of so much more and so much more is headed to you, right? Because with this caring connection cards here, it's also saying that you are creating room and creating the space for caring connections to come into your life. We have the Eight of Cups. It is in reverse. All right, we have the King of Cups. Could be a water sign. Definitely don't have to be, but I can definitely tell this is a very emotional time for my pile number three. And then we have the Judgment card. We have the Prince of Cups. It is in reverse. There can be children involved. Definitely doesn't have to be. Um, some of y'all could really be having some legal battles or some court issues. If not, you are being thrusted into a new phase of your life here, pile number three, with the Judgment card. It's like, if you're ready or not, here I come. So it could be very, very uncomfortable for you. Um, but the uncomfortability uncomfortability is coming to an end here with the eight of cups you have walked away from something or someone that no longer serves you and usually these cups are neatly stacked and they are neatly stacked in this card but they're in an ocean so it's like you're climbing out of this despair you're leaving behind something that you have looked into every single one of these cups and you have finally figured out that it is not for you and for most of you it's going to be a relationship with another person and with this king of cups here it seems like you are finally pouring into your own cup and asking yourself what is pile number three wrong what is pile number three worthy of and where does pile number three want to take their life and so I see some of you feeling really bad for choosing yourself. And so this is really telling you that you do not have to feel bad for doing what is best for you, pal number three. And there are brighter days coming. And although you might not be able to see a light at the end of the tunnel right now, pal number three, it is absolutely there. And that is what is headed towards you you being grounded, you being happy, you being free, and you being emotionally balanced here. So I really hope that this reading helped you, pile number three. I'm going to go ahead and end it there. Thanks so much for letting me read for you today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.